Do you remember when your child was first born? It was probably a time filled with all kinds of emotions, ranging from anxiety and excitement to worry and joy, and maybe even some postpartum blues or depression. Hey there, I'm Dr. David, and in today's Thrive in Five, I'll share more about the three fundamental needs we all have for flourishing in this life. While the experiences and emotions may be different for new parents, there are some things that are universally the same for all children born, and they don't just disappear. These are the same three needs we have as adults. I call these the three essential needs for surviving and thriving in this world. All right, first, every one of us is born with the need to feel safe. This includes both physical and emotional safety. So this is about having our basic living and survival needs met. It's food, it's clothing, sleep, a safe place to live, work, pay the bills, and so on. We need to live without fear of control, abuse, violence, manipulation, and so on, but also feel financially safe. And as children morph and turn into teenagers, they have the need to do things on their own, to develop their own identity, make their own choices, and become their own person but they still need emotional safety, which is about respect and acceptance, not feeling judged and criticized and yelled at, and they need a safe environment to share very personal and vulnerable parts of themselves and feel validated and understood. A place where they can ask questions and explore their world without fear of being ridiculed or rejected. Now, the second need we all have is the need for satisfaction. For children, this is about having fun, experiencing pleasure, excitement, popularity, and lots of stuff, right? It's the latest gadgets and phones and clothes and video games, fast cars, fast food, candy, music, movies, social media, and more. For teens, this is often about risky behaviors and doing silly things in hopes of going viral. It's about the high and the thrill that comes with danger as well. But this need for satisfaction is also met by helping or serving others, finding and championing some cause, or learning something new. It's also about turning outward and feeling fulfilled by contributing to something higher than yourself. So it's not just about me and pleasure, but feeling satisfied by a job well done. The third desire and need we all have is connection. We're all born with this longing for belonging, this craving for connection with other people. When children are first born, science shows it's critical for babies to attach to a caregiver. This emotional bonding is powerful for both the baby and the parent or caregiver. As children grow, sometimes parents feel sad. that They don't express their love the same way. They don't want to be hugged or kiss you in public. And they often prefer their friends or family. But they still have a need for social connection and relationships. And believe it or not, most teens still crave your support and want you to watch and be there for them, especially in tough times. Sometimes they meet this need for connection through social media and getting likes on their kissy face selfies or posting things in hopes of getting reactions and comments. Now this need to feel accepted and connected is powerful. And sometimes we'll do crazy things to meet this need, even illegal or sometimes immoral things. Teens will join gangs to feel safe and accepted or, or do drugs and drink to get approval from others to fit in. But when we learn to see the world from our children's eyes, we'll better understand their world and that they do things to meet their needs, even if it just temporarily meets their needs. So let's come back to your memories of your child being born. Most of us had no idea while we're holding that little baby in our arms about all the emotional roller coasters we'd be riding through on this vast parenting journey. This parenting thing, it's not easy. To raise miniature people into adults takes work and learning and compassion and sacrifice and some thick skin and patience when they get mouthy, right? So remember, children and adults do things for reasons that make sense to them. We might see it as ridiculous and breaking the rules, but they do what they do most of the time to meet their needs. And as we help them find their own way, their path in life, remember the three needs of safety, satisfaction, and connection. Now, if you found these tips helpful, please take a second to subscribe, give it a like, and share it with others. I'm on a mission to help parents thrive in their life journey, and I'd love your help spreading the word. That's all for now. I'm Dr. Dave, and this has been another Thrive in Five. Mm -hmm.